Whether it's a planned summer party or an impromptu get-together, great times deserve great food. Registered dietitian Carissa Bielert is here with recipes perfect for summer entertaining. And I'm so glad you're doing something interesting with the cracker. Yes, we want to make it, you know, we want to elevate it. And I love working with the Dare Grains First and the Breton Original Crackers because they're the perfect cracker on their own. But when I entertain, I like to keep it elegant. I like to have it fun. I like to be tasty. Mm -hmm. So we've got two recipes that were developed, not by me, but by the Dare Spokesburn Chef Kane Raymond. Well, so he is King. a chef, and he really knows his stuff, so he's put together some great flavors. Well, not all crackers are made the same. That no. is for sure. No. And this has whole grains. That's right. The grains first has 10 whole grains and also has seeds. So it's got black sesame seeds and poppy seeds. And both of the crackers, as a dietitian, this is what I look for, zero grams of trans fat per serving, Good. cholesterol free and peanut free in case someone has an intolerance or an allergy. You never know these days. That's true. So it's always good to make something that everybody can enjoy. Perfect. And now instead of just slapping a piece of cheese on exactly, there, right? you've done something far more elegant. We have filet mignon here Ooh. today and our black pepper seared steak cracker with Ricotta. Ricotta, mm. ricotta. Ricotta. I'm not ah. Italian. I need Jerry to come help me out. So what we did is we crusted the filet in black pepper. Yes. Cooked it with a little EVOO. On the bottom, now this sounds interesting, but it's amazing. It's a ricotta blended with dates, mint, and a little honey. Mm. And so it gives a sweetness, and then the arugula pesto kind of ties it all together. So that's elegant entertaining for it the summer. Really ricotta cheese is pretty good for you, right? I mean, yeah, it's got the calcium and part skim. You're getting lower in fat as well, and it provides such a cream. I mean, I was literally eating it when I was making it. It's so good. I mean, and filet mignon, how can you go wrong with yeah, that? Yeah, that's almost a meal right there. I it mean, is. So I you're could... keeping, so if you had like an appetizer party or just all canapes, you can uh -huh. use crackers kind of mm. in every way. And the grains first cracker, it's hearty. You got to have a hearty cracker to yes. hold up to filet. True. And so that's what this does. Has a really robust flavor. It's good on its own with cheese. Don't want to knock that. No, I but do that every night. This is our elegant entertaining. Okay, love that. And I guess you just used a blender to make that underneath. I did. I used my blender. Yep. Okay. Or now, food processor. what have we got going on over here? So in the summer, one thing you don't want to do is turn on your oven. This right? is so because I don't think I have turned it's on hot. the oven. It's hot. I mean, much. it is really hot. So this is a no bake orange lemon cheesecake. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yes, it's really good. Very simple. And we use the Breton Original crackers for the crust because they're really elegant, simple, buttery, and you can mm. use these in a savory or a sweet application here. But again, we got out the food processor, blended them up, put them in our pan, and then this is a no-bake cheesecake. So you've got the cream cheese, a little heavy cream, but, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Blend it together with orange zest, vanilla, lemon, the bright flavors of summer, and then we've topped it with our blueberries, which we also added a little lemon zest and lemon juice to, to kind of keep it nice and fresh. Now, I'm curious, since you're mm -hmm. a dietitian, yes, about the cheese that you use. Is it okay to use full fat cheese or do you go fat free cheese? There's such a debate now about like, whether we should go exactly, for it is. It's hard. lower and fat or not. That's my job. My job is to give you the good information. So we got the good crackers. When we're talking about cheese, I like to meet in the middle. I like to pick a low fat dairy because the fat helps you absorb some of the vitamins with it mm -hmm. and things like that. And it helps keep you fuller longer. So fat free, not too much, whole, a little too much. Mm -hmm. So let's just meet in the middle. And I have to ask you about oils while I've got you yeah. here. Coconut oil, uh, I've heard grapeseed oil. Mm -hmm. Uh, canola oil. Is there an oil that you like as a dietitian? You know, it depends on what you're cooking and what you're looking for. Coconut oil is a medium chain tri triglyceride, mm -hmm. meaning it can be absorbed quickly. Some people think that promotes fat loss. Canola can help reduce the absorption of cholesterol. Right. But it depends on what your cooking usage. So if you're baking, if you're sauteing, canola is a good way to go. If you're making a dressing, use that olive oil. I do cook my chicken in coconut oil. Okay. At home yeah, you don't want to have too high heat with coconut oil. Exactly. It, I thought the fire alarm was going to go off in the so house. You have the to know day. that. I mean, oils, it's not just about, you know, what does it do for you? It's about how does it cook best. So there's a lot to learn there, but today I want to make sure you guys get these great recipes on darefoods.com. Darefoods.com. Carissa, thank you so much. Oh, guess, now he's here. <laughs> guess who heard there was food? And I want so. Oh, I want Wait, darefoods.com backslash US underscore EN. That's right. Okay. Mm. Here you there go. You go. Help me out. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Mm -hmm. More daytime mm -hmm. to come. We'll mm -hmm. be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that.